Hello world, welcome to the 34th video on my YouTube channel where I'm creating my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis, Friday, and Edith from the Iron Man comics and movies. Well, I guess Edith was in the Spider-Man movies, but anyways, uh, in today's video we're going to check out um, checking our Gmail messages using the Gmail API. So the developers at Google have already written a lot of the code for us, but uh, the sample code they give us really isn't the best. And so I modified it and I'll show you how I did that shortly. So first, you got to go to this website um, right here on instructions on how to download this uh, guide that they've already written for us. It's developers.google.com, Gmail, API, Quick Start, Python. So the link will be in the description, but it's right here. So the first thing you need to do is turn on the Gmail API. So you're going to click this, e enable the Gmail API, and then a new dialog box will come up. So you click on the button that says Download Client Configuration, and it'll save this credentials.json, and you need to save it to your working directory. So I just saved it to Downloads and then moved it over to the rest of my folders right here. So if you're using PyCharm, you need to find the current project you're working on. And I just copied and pasted it in the folder. And it'll appear in your list here. So it says credentials.json. So once it's in your Active Directory, you just simply have to create a new file. They're calling it quickstart.py. I've called mine gmail.py. The name doesn't matter. Then you copy and paste this whole thing and then into your PyCharm or whatever IDE you're using. Okay. So you copy and paste all that and then you run it. So you go up here and you run it. And what that, that's going to do is open up a new Internet Explorer and you're going to have to give this API, your um, permissions to, uh, what's it called? You, know, you have to log on to Gmail first, but then it's going to give you permissions to use this. And if it does work, click, it worked. If it doesn't, you're going to have to troubleshoot. So when you run that, down here in your console, it's going to print the labels. And these are headers, and that's not very uh, useful. It even tells you in its comments that this shows the basic usage of the Gmail API and lists the user's Gmail labels. So that's not a very good function, so I've edited it. So assuming you got to this part and uh, it worked and you showed a bunch of labels down here like inbox, sent, trash, addresses, assuming those shows up, then I'll show you some of the changes I made. So let's look at the code that I did. Okay, ask me how many messages do you want to see? So let's just say we want to see three. Three of the last messages or the most current messages. All right. So it looks like I have um, some sort of advertisement then I have a Verizon bill and then a billing problem with my Apple music because I don't want to spend the 999 for Apple music and these are just the snippets it ends right there so I could put however many I want all right so you leave their code alone and I am not going to go into their code it's pretty advanced so you scroll down here and what it's doing is it's looking for your credentials in here. So all of this is their code. Okay. And then you're going to, what's it called? Comment these out. So this is the original code right here. So uh, right here, these results and then the labels. So I commented those out, and then you're going to comment these new get messages. 
So results equals this services.users.messages.list user ID label IDs inbox. So if you wanted to see what's in your trash, you could change this to trash, etc. And then you're going to get the messages and store it into an array. Okay? And then you change this to say if not labels, so comment that out. And then I made my own message count. So this is mine right here, my own code. And I want to make it an integer. Then I'm going to ask for the input. How many messages do you want to see? All right. Then you put if not messages. So the original code says if not labels. So comment that out and put if not messages. Then you're going to print no messages found. Else, you're going to print messages. It used to say print labels. And then comment out for label in labels. And then put for message in messages. And then I'm passing my message count up here. Then you want this one right up here. And to be honest, I don't know if I, yeah, yeah, right here. Then you're going to print just the snippet. See, so this message right here, this is the variable you called. We just want the snippet, which is this short amount right here. Then I wanted to print a, a blank space and then sleep for two seconds. So the old code had print the label. So for label in labels, print the label name. And I didn't want that. So that's it. That's how you check your messages. Like I said, the great people at Google already uh, wrote a lot of the code for us. Um, I mean, it looks like I can figure out what it all is, but it's a little bit beyond my, uh, you know, knowledge level. But editing is not. And that's one of the things I uh, am learning is how to find what I want to do and then do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification icon so you can get updates when I post new videos. And like this video. Goodbye, world.